Let's learn about uh, hue, saturation, and value. Um, these uh, three are found in the uh, color picker, and it's important to understand uh, how this color picker works and how the colors work um, in Photoshop Elements. Vital part of uh, scrapbooking because you will be using these quite often, and you need to recognize what all these strange fields do and how this um, this works. So here's a screenshot of the color picker. When you first call it up, it shows these uh, defaults. Um, notice the row of figures on the right, and I've got my Photoshop elements here. I'm going to uh, pull up that color picker and that looks just like my screenshot and you'll notice right here are um, three fields that go together and um, we're going to go back to the tutorial and discuss these a little bit more this is uh, H for hue, S for saturation, and B for brightness <coughs> now in other areas of Photoshop elements sometimes um, it will be a uh, L for lightness, I think. I have to go back to my tutorial and read. Uh, but um, that these are one set that is grouped together. Now, uh, there is another set, and you'll notice it's RGB, and you may recognize um, those three uh, acronyms together and we're going to be talking about those but that stands for red green and blue and you'll notice then there's one more down at the bottom and it is um, a six digit number so let's go back to this tutorial now and read more about it um, we'll, the hue numbers are going to range from 1 to 360, which is just like you'll you'll learn more about this in the uh, in the next tutorial about the the color schemes and the color picker, but that the those range from 1 to 360. The saturation and the brightness um, they range uh, from 1 to uh, 100. And how do I get? that off there. There we go. Um, the next set of numbers is RGB and we already talked about how the R stands for red, G for green, and B for blue. And basically this color model uses various varying degrees of these three colors to create all other colors. Now for me uh, it just totally did not make sense because we know that the primary colors on the color wheel of red, yellow, and blue make up all other colors. So I'm not quite sure how um, red, green, and blue just go figure that. So we don't need to understand it. We just need to uh, have knowledge of, of how it works. Um, sometimes you will see these written, written in a respective order in parentheses such as uh, this example here in my tutorial. Um, you will know that, note that this, this example here 255, 255, and 255 is uh, white. Black is 000 because that would mean there's no red, no green, and no blue in the color black. Um, since the first respective numbers represent red, a pure red color would be 255 with no green and no blue. And of the like for green. Since the second number is green, we would put 255 in that field um, to get a pure green and not put any red or blue in it and this is the same for blue the last field represents blue and so we could put 255 in it and then 0 and 0 in the other two to get uh, the purest blue um, the last field on the color picker um, for our example at uh, six F's in a row 
uh, is just another code for these RGB colors. Um, there are codes that are web safe colors um, that are limited to 216 combinations of these red, green, and blue and those are uh, ones that work well on the web and you can go on the internet and find those colors. Um, this uh, color code box is called a hexa... Uh, let me go back and read it. <laughs> Hexadecimal. Hexadecimal is what that field is called, the, the codes for it. Um, you don't need to know a lot of details about the RGB codes and how they work. Uh, basically, if you get out on the internet and you search for colors, um, there's color charts and things, and if you're <coughs> looking for um, something specific, maybe for your website, and you want to match the colors, uh, you would just simply um, highlight and do a control C and then you would go um, highlight it right here into your uh, color picker and press control V and uh, I must not have highlighted it or manually type it in and um, it's going to come up with the exact color as you've uh, chosen. Um, sometimes in color challenges you're going to see these um, color codes and you can manually type them in any field. Um, maybe if you're doing a designer challenge and everybody's trying to use the exact same colors to make a coordinating kit, you might get those numbers um, that somebody's maybe generated from a color schemer program. And so that's generally uh, what you need to know. Um, Hugh, let's go back to class one, art class 101. Here we go. Um, I'm sure, like me, uh, you're noticing all these color terms, and you have no idea what they mean. When I first started uh, studying to write this uh, uh, tutorial, I had no idea what the word hue meant. Of course, I've heard the word hue my entire life, and I knew it was associated with colors. Um, let me tell you, I was highly embarrassed when I realized what uh, hue actually means. And here's some uh, di dictionary terms for you to mull over. I'm not going to go over them in the tutorial. But um, basically, uh, to make things easier to understand, the word hue could actually be interchanged with the word color. Um, so when you change the hue in your layout, you're actually changing the color. Um, so I guess you could say, as it says here, hey, I do not like that hue for your border. Why don't you change it to green? Now, you know we don't normally say that. We would say, hey, I don't like that color for your border why don't you change it to green is what we would normally say but those words could be used interchangeably so it's basically the the color hue and color are interchangeable um, here it says in other words it's where the color lands on the spectrum of the rainbow defined by these words we have created in our language to name colors uh, to choose the hue I'm going to go back to the editor this um, bar right here changes the hue. And so I can click right on this bar directly in it to change the hue. And you're going to notice the hue is um, also changing out in this box. And, and um, I can also grab the slider and actually slide it up and down. Now you'll notice that up here is um, a box that we watch to know what color we've chosen and later you're going to see that the bottom half of the box uh, <coughs> is the uh, the the color that you entered the the in the color picker in on and so we entered it on white and so it'll stay white uh, because that's what our initial color was. Uh, the top color is going to be uh, the color we're, we've decided on to choose. It's going to be a sample of the color. Um, right now it's not changing as I move this. Why is that? That's because the saturation is still set at zero and you're going to see in the the uh, next um, portion of this uh, tutorial uh, why that is. 
and so we're going to move on down to saturation <coughs> and what is saturation it well it's a second dimension or property of the color there's three dimensions or properties of color hue saturation and uh, value or brightness and darkness now saturation is the degree of purity in the color um, we learned that uh, 225 in the RGB uh, color coding is uh, the most pure of that color um, it's uh, uh, saturation is thought of as the intensity of the color you can have a very intense or vivid uh, color or you can have a low saturated color which is more muted and gray in my scrapbooking layouts I tend to like those more muted uh, colors with more gray in them um, with no saturation uh, the color is a shade of gray therefore to change the saturation of the color you add or subtract gray from it the gray scale I'm reading along in my tutorial here the running from black to white of the colors changes the color saturation. Um, there's some more things here for you to read about chroma. I'm not going to go into that, but uh, let's go back to the color picker. Well, you, let's look at the picture here. From this direction to this direction is going to change the saturation. And so uh, you can see right here on my color picker a little circle and that's because um, the saturation is set to zero and so it zero is going to be on this side of the color picker 100 is going to be on this side of the color picker at zero it's always going to be white no matter what hue you have because there's absolutely no saturation if I put 50 in this field Um, and that's strange what happened there we go and if I put 50 in this field you'll notice that this circle is exactly in the middle because this is a range from 1 to 100 I can uh, manually click out here and you'll see this number go up and down if I click on the, the side where it's more muted with more grays uh, you'll see the lower number in the saturation box and if I go to uh, the higher side you're going to see a higher number so that is a little bit more about the saturation box now value is um, either lightness or brightness. I think I've skipped over the part of the tutorial up here. This, these three numbers together or the scale as I've indicated here in my tutorial um, can be either known as the HSB scale or the HSV scale. V meaning value. There are three dimensions hue, saturation, and value. And sometimes that value is called brightness and sometimes that value is called lightness. It's just confusing. So, But you can kind of think of in your mind that value, uh, brightness, and lightness all mean the same because sometimes you're going to see them used differently in uh, different areas so we're back down to a uh, value now in the tutorial and you can see the value changes on the color picker by going up and down and so if we go to uh, the color picker again um, in Photoshop elements and you see uh, to choose a lighter color I'm going to click near the top and a darker color I'm going to click toward the bottom and you can see again once again this range is from 1, one to 100 1 being down at the bottom and 100 being at the top and so um, right now at the bottom it's got a low number of 5 and if I click near the top it's got a higher number of 
94. And so if you're wanting to change the brightness or the lightness of a, la la of a color, you're going to want to go up or down to get those colors. Now back to the tutorial. Um, the lighter colors um, are some, the lightest are, are pastel, and they're, they're at the very, very top of the, the color picker, even way down here. These are more the pastel colors um, with the low saturation and, and very light. Um, uh, it's also called pale colors are going to be up at the top. Um, light colors are made by adding light or white. Um, adding white to a pure color is called tinting. And, and these words can all be very confusing. And so you've heard probably before that that's a nice tint of a color. You've also probably heard that's a nice shade of a color. Tinting is adding white to a color. So um, adding, uh, so the tint, let me go back here. So tints of a color are going to be the top half of this graph. And so if you're wanting to say that's a you know nice tint of a color, it's going to be something that's uh, lighter than the pure color. Um, shading is actually adding gr uh, black. And so um, the lower half of this color picker is going to be your va various um, shades of a particular hue. So there is also tones, and tones would be adding gray to a pu pure color. And, you know, you could analyze that and, and be totally confused, and that would be fine. Um, that's something I really don't need to know for, for the digital scrapbooking, just something, uh, an interesting tidbit. You'll notice, too, that um, if we hit Let's uh, cancel this, and we hit um, Control U. Well, uh, it wants me to draw something on my page. Let's get a color here and put that in there. Control D. Now, if I hit Control U on my uh, keyboard to bring up the hue and saturation box, you're going to notice uh, that uh, these three. Um, here it says lightness instead of brightness, uh, but it's still the value, um, are just the same as in the color picker. <coughs> and so you can change the hue by moving this slider, and you can change the saturation. And if you play with this, now that you have a little knowledge, um, seeing the colors change are also going to... Um, uh, help you understand um, the saturation uh, watch the color get more saturated and bright and then if you make it more muted down here this is I tend to like these colors better for my layouts but that's just personal preference there are people who like bright layouts and there are people who like more more muted colored layouts and that will kind of give you an idea of, of what saturation means and of course lightness here's your pastels up here and here's your darker colors I tend to like darker colors and so I hope you've uh, learned a lot from this tutorial and have a better understanding of how the um, hue and the saturation and the value work uh, if you have any questions please do ask